Welcome to the Post Glover YouTube video series. Today we will demonstrate how to perform the lamp test on a Post Glover PulsarPlus.net high resistance grounding system. This should be done at regular intervals to ensure that the lights are working correctly so that you know when certain events are happening or functions are occurring. For instance, you want to run a lamp test prior to performing a ground fault test to ensure that the proper indicators will be illuminated when performing the ground fault test. First, you must know that the system test can only be accomplished while you are in the setup menu. This is done to protect against inadvertent or unauthorized testing or changing of parameters, and therefore there's a password that must be used to gain access to this setup menu. If you look at the keypad on the PLC, you'll notice that the number nine on the pad also says lamp test. If you press the lamp test or number nine button, a prompt will appear telling you to navigate to set up to use lamp test. Now you can press the number five button, which is the setup menu button. It will then tell you to enter password, so you need to press the enter button. Then you need to type in the password, which by default is 1000. Then press the enter key to accept your choice. Note that the password can be changed so you may need to contact someone within your company to get the correct password if that is the case. This will then give you a list of functions and you can scroll down. You will see that the number nine option is the lamp test. Now you can press the number nine button and make sure you hold it in for a few seconds so you can see that the lights are functioning correctly. As you can see, the normal fault and pulse lamps above the PLC will ultimately flash until you stop pressing the button. It is that simple, and this lets you know that the lights are working correctly. If you have any questions, please contact us by email at sales at postglover.com or give us a call at 859-283-0778.